Hey riders, my name is Wen, and this is the InMotion V11. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started setting up your V11 so you can hit the road riding. First of all, let's look to see what's in the box. In the package, we'll find a user manual, an air valve extension, a set of hex keys, a set of wrenches, a suspension pump, and a two and a half amp charger. For today's setup, we're only gonna be using the suspension pump and a three millimeter hex wrench, which was not included in our package. All right, so let's get started on setting up the wheel. The V11 will come shipped in a mode called transport mode. This prevents the wheel from inadvertently turning on and spinning during the shipment process. As you see, currently it's in transport mode, and even though the wheel is on, it's not self-balancing, so it'll be impossible for you to ride. To get it out of transport mode, you'll need to download the InMotion app and connect to the wheel to deactivate the transport mode. In the InMotion app, we'll connect to the V11. Once we're connected, we see that the wheel is under transportation mode. Let's click Confirm to unlock it. Now that it's unlocked, the wheel is going to be able to self-balance. Next time I want to ship this wheel, I need to go back and enable transport mode. While we're here, let's upgrade the firmware. To get the wheel ready for firmware upgrade, make sure it's powered on, then engage the handle kill switch to lay it down on its side on a flat surface. In the app, let's go to the firmware upgrade, and if it's already upgraded, it'll tell you that. If not, click on the update button and follow the instructions. Once it's ready, it'll download the upgrade and transfer the file over to the wheel. Once it's finished, just power off the wheel and power it back on. Let's move on to setting up the suspension. All right, I'm gonna turn off the wheel first and then I'm gonna lay it down so that we can access the suspension. Oh. The V11 suspension system has two shocks. Each shock has a bottom chamber and a top chamber, both of which will be filling with air. Let's start with the bottom chamber since it's easier. First, we're going to identify the pressure at which we need to inflate to by referencing this chart here provided by InMotion. I'm roughly 80 grams, so I'm going to inflate it to around 120 PSI. Next, we're going to use the air pump that's provided by InMotion. And we're going to make sure that this lever is flipped to the open position like this, open. Now let's connect this end of the pump to the valve stem. Okay, once it's secure, we're gonna flip this switch forward and now we're ready to go. All right, I'm gonna start pumping. I am a little over so I can use this bleed valve to bleed a little bit of air. All right, we're right around 120. So now I'm gonna flip this switch right here like that, there we go. Now some people say that when you connect it again, you lose air, but that's not true. What you're doing is when you connect it, it's actually losing some pressure because it needs to pressurize this tube here. So right now, if I don't wanna lose air and I wanna check the pressure, I'm gonna pre-pressurize the tube to around 120. And if I flip the switch, I didn't lose any pressure. Now I'm gonna undo it again. And repeat this process for the other side. Next, we're gonna fill the top chamber of the shocks. The valves are located behind the saddle, so we'll need to remove the saddle in order to access them. To remove the saddle, we're gonna take out these two three millimeter screws and three millimeter screws in the front of the saddle and these three millimeter screws in the back of the saddle.
For the top chamber, InMotion recommends 50 PSI, regardless of the rider weight. But feel free to try different pressures. A good starting point is about half the pressure of the bottom chamber. When you're done, replace the saddle and tighten the screws. Turn the wheel over and repeat this process on the other side. The last thing we're going to do is make sure that the tire is inflated to a good pressure. In motion recommends running 40 psi. Let's locate the valve stem and remove the cover. This is a bit of a tight squeeze for an air pump, so we're going to utilize the valve extender tool provided in your box. First, take off the valve core remover tool. And now we just simply screw on the valve extender tool onto the valve and you'll get a better angle for inflating the tire. That's it, your V11 is set up and it's ready to go. Don't forget to periodically check the pressures of both your tire and your suspension and top off as necessary. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We love to hear your thoughts, so comment below and stay tuned for more videos.